Norman Yoshio Mineta was born the son of two immigrants. He became a United States congressman, a cabinet member for two presidents, a Democrat and a Republican. He was an American by birth, yet imprisoned by his own country because of his Japanese ancestry. He was trying to change the nation he loved. I was doing things to help people to speak out on behalf of those who had no voice. Norman had spent his life both proving by his own achievements that America was working for more and more people, but also trying to give that chance to everybody else. And it should be honored, more important, Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Christine Chen, Executive Director for Asian and Pacific Islander American Vote. Thank you all for joining us today as we come together as the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander family to support Denny, Stuart, David, and their families during their time of mourning. We are grateful that the Mineta family asked to speak to their AANHPI family at this time. I know many of you have been enjoying see each other in the gallery view, but before we begin the program, please be sure to go to the upper right hand corner under view and select speaker. At this time, I'd like to ask Denny to speak to us. Again, I would like to express appreciation to the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander communities gathered today. You are all family. Norm was of the community and love the time he spent in the community. And many of you are friends and colleagues and have been for decades. The closeness of this community, our ohana, exceeded all that we could have hoped for in our lives. While we haven't seen many of you for a while, please know that you remained in Norm's heart. You embraced Norm, you embraced our family, and you have been precious, precious friends. I want to thank you for your friendship, for being our ohana and loving norm. Thank you. <sighs> Stewie. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for inviting us to join you on the Zoom call for dad. Um, as you already know, when dad started out in public service, uh, there were not many that looked like us in leadership roles. Leaders from the Japanese American community were convinced that an internment would not have happened if we had someone at the table when decisions were being made. Access to leaders, decision makers, uh, just was not there for our community. Fast forward to shortly after September 11, 2001, and, and dad was at the table and was fortunate enough to have the ear of the president who told a group of congressional leaders that they could not let what happened to dad happen to members of the Muslim community. That access and advocacy continues with all of you. Dad, uh, dad loved working and being with you all. He loved the work you were doing. It probably reminded him of his start so many decades ago. That sense of community uh, joining together for the common good that joining together was what helped lift him up to help others. Our family uh, is profoundly touched and proud by the outpouring of condolences, but really it's the stories that so many are sharing about their interactions with dad that have made such an impact on us. I can't think of a time when he told me to be kind to this person or treat these people like this or carry yourself this way we were just lucky enough to follow his example and to hear that he made such an impression on so many people just reinforces what we knew about dad and how he lived his life. So thank you for continuing his life's work of advocacy and service for others. And if there's any way I can be of service to you, call on me and I will be there. Much love to you all. Thank you very much.
Thanks. Uh, thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Stu. Um, hi, all. It's da I'm, I'm David Mineta. Um, and uh, first, I want to I want to start by thanking Daphne. Uh, this 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 whole thing started a few days ago uh, with a call to Daphne, um, and um, and um, it grew into uh, you know sort of the, more of the family um, getting connected and moving off on the moving out on this. And so I want to thank Christine and and her staff from EPI Vote. I want to thank. Uh, I want to thank Vita. I want to thank uh, DJ um, Madeline, Madeline, and, and her Apex team, uh, Christine Minami, uh, Deborah Nakatomi, and her her folks, Martha um, and Chris Strobel, uh, and all the folks helping with the uh, with the breakouts. Um, again, I think I talked to Daphne on Wednesday. Um, she was trying to prep it for Thursday and we're doing it on Saturday. Um, so our message is pretty, it's pretty simple today. In whatever way you knew dad, the feeling that brought you here today is very real. He loved you and was proud of you, um, just like the family we all are. You know, we come uh, from a very large extended family with lots and lots of aunties and uncles, siblings, cousins, nieces and nephews, some of whom you've never met or ever will. And yet the bonds that bind are nonetheless stronger and more real than we could ever imagine. He cherished the work you did together. He exalted in your rise and promotions. He sank with your lows and hardships. He was as proud of your achievements, personal, professional, you know, marriages, births, as any proud father or grandfather could be. All of it brought him sustenance. And it was beautiful, it was real, and will always be, even as he departs this world for the next. You know, in our community, you know, this, among all of this family today on this call, you know, I know many of us have many memories and we got so many, in, you know, as prepping for this, a lot of them came, you know, many just sort of started coming back into my mind and, I thought I was thinking of the 2012 Democratic National Convention in Charlotte. Um, Dad was beginning to have difficulties walking. So as any good staffer, I, I mean son, um, I grabbed the first tricycle taxi I could find. And we rode around from event to event. I can't tell you how many people would yell, hey, Norm, you know, as we tricycled by some of you on the call today? Or what about all the countless community dinners we've attended and the joy he got from good Asian food? Or the comfort he got from the island shirts that replaced his government suits and button downs? We wanted you to know he was being Norm until the very end. As we brought him home last Tuesday, from the hospital, he showed his care team his appreciation by telling them, I love you. Know that 50 plus doctors, nurses, nurse assistants, custodians, phlebotomists, dietitians, physical therapists, speech therapists are now part of our extended family. So, Again, um, please let folks who weren't able to make it today, please let them know, you know, to cherish their memories. Cry the necessary tears of mourning. Laugh out loud with the belly laugh that is required when remembering a funny moment. But know our community is fundamentally stronger for the love you gave him 
and he gave us back. It is not hyperbole to say the imprint on the collective American experience is fundamentally different because of it. It is what we know as a basic truth in the very large extended family of Norman Y. Mineta. And his dad would always say, thanks a million. Love the Mineta family. Thank you all. Denny, Stuart, and David, thank you for helping 900 of us here today be together to share our love, to pay our respect to Norm, and to grieve with the Mineta and Brentner family. The entire Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander family throughout this country has been in deep mourning as expressed through social media postings and private conversations. Norm and all of you have been in everyone's hearts and minds this week. Norm's impact on all of us who had the honor of hearing him, meeting him, working with him has made us all better human beings. There will never be another Norm, but we can all strive to be better human beings by emulating him, to be humble, kind, inclusive, look out for others and be their advocates, and to never stop working for a more perfect union with heart, empathy, and love. In closing, we want to ask everyone to please respect the family's privacy during this difficult time. We will be posting the Mineta family remarks on API Votes YouTube and Facebook page for our AANHPI family who were not able to join us today. You all will receive an email with the links so you can share with others. Thank you so much.
for now, for those who would like to stay and join us in breakout rooms to share your story about Norm, I would like to go ahead and bring up DJ Ida, Executive Director of National Asian American Pacific Islander Mental Health Association, who will help us um, with the breakouts and explain how that will work. DJ. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Christine. It is really clear from the number of people who are gathered here that Norman Ed was very loved and respected. Well, today we mourn his passing, is also an opportunity for the community to come together to celebrate this extraordinary life. Breakout rooms have been provided for people to share a special memory, a funny story. Some of them made you smile or touched your heart, whether you were very close to him or knew him only by reputation. Each breakout room have a monitor to ensure that everyone who wants to say something is given a chance, so we're asking you to please keep your comments short. Each of you will have your own reaction, and for some, your emotional journey may take may change from minute to minute, day to day, and that's okay, that's normal. We encourage you to respect your feelings. As a country, we're also beginning to come out of a very stressful pandemic, and for some, this may include losses of your own. If you find yourself feeling overwhelmed and need to chat, let Christine know, and I also be available in a breakout room called DJ. Christine will not get, uh, well, how to get back into the breakout rooms. Christine? So the breakout rooms are now open, so you can move yourself to any room. As you can see, the different um, categories, you could go ahead, move from room to room, or stay in one in particular to go ahead and chat with your friends. You also, um, we will keep these breakout rooms open until 6 p.m. Five minutes before, I will send a broadcast message to remind you that we will close shortly and bring you back to the main room. Folks have the opportunity, like I said, to leave or to continue to share. There will also be a room where you can be videotaped to share a one minute message to the family. At this time, we encourage you to go ahead and move yourself into the rooms. If you have any problems uh, moving, place in the chat which you, room you would like to move into and I will go ahead and try to um, help you move into that space. Thank you everyone.